Chairman, uh, forgive me if I bring item 11 ahead to now, but the Commissioner is here today and he isn't tomorrow. Commissioner, you've outlined future legislation here today. We might have more confidence in this if past legislation was being discharged properly. And I'm talking, of course, about the EU ban on laying hens in battery cages that should come into effect on the 1st of January 2012. We know that about 29% of birds will still be in cages on that date and that they will not be evenly distributed across the European Union. Some countries, like the UK, will be 99% compliant. Others, and I mention no names here, Chairman, will have done very, very little. The cost to change to other systems is about €30 Euros per bird that has to be slowly worked off and adds to your production cost. What are the Commission going to do about this? Action is vital to prevent huge commercial, commercial disadvantage to those who do obey the rules. We must either have proper labelling and a ban on battery cage eggs leaving any member state. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chairman. I've been waiting for this debate for some time. I do declare an interest as an egg producer. A lot of colleagues have supported my position here today, but there are 45 people on this committee, I feel, and unless 23 of them will support it, it might not go through. The UK egg producer has been sucked into a problem for which it already had a solution. For many years in the UK, due to consumer preference, our laying flock has been steadily coming out of battery cages and going into other systems. This changeover has been managed well by the industry until the EU chose to interfere by bringing in a deadline for 100% conversion. Yes, a great deal of time was allowed, but the reluctance to wait until the last minute has been based on two factors. The first is that the industry was wondering whether the goalpost would be moved yet again by the EU a few years after a massive investment had been made under pressure from welfare lobbies. The second reason for the delay was the expectation that the EU would give grants for conversion, and no one wanted to be in the situation of spending their own money early on and then missing out on a grant. However, the UK has spent 500 million euros of its – sorry, yes, the UK producers have spent 500 million euros of their own money to change over. The artificial deadline has created a situation where those who have invested in the new systems are also running, as we've heard before, the battery cage unit alongside just to try and get that extra income, and that's created another surplus. To distort matters even more, certain new free-range egg producers have been in receipt of substantially new grants. In some cases, €600,000 per, per, per producer, and they've had to put none of their own in. That, of course, has resulted in a huge surplus of free-range eggs we're seeing at the moment, just as the food price has gone sky high. Having created these problems, the EU must follow this through. One, please acknowledge that there even is a problem. Thank goodness I've had some support on that. Strict labelling has got to be mandatory. We must know what these cage eggs are. There should be a total ban on the intra-state trade. There must be. We cannot have these eggs going from one country to another with such a big difference in production costs. And there shouldn't be any EU grants for these latecomers. Our producers have had to use their own money. These chaps should as well. And remember, Britain is a net contributor to all of this. British taxpayers are going to have to be paying for these other countries to convert, to let these eggs come back into Britain that have been subsidised. It won't work. Thank you very much.